So what's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Users TV. In this class, we're going to see how to properly show notification, okay, using native classes. We actually looked at a notification example, but we used a third party library. In this example, we're going to use the notification manager to show a notification. So this is what I'm talking about. I click this floating action button and then here we have our message. In fact, okay it's it's going to play a sound if i click it right here you can actually listen to the sound okay it is able to show for us the sound right there okay so if we come you can see we have two notifications the first one and the second one then we can just come click if we click it brings us right here okay it opens a new activity and then brings us and then you can see that it's actually cancelling the notification once we've clicked it okay so this is what we're going to talk about. I can come, click it again. You can see new message alert right there. And then if we come, you can see the notification has an image. It also has the title as well as the content and then the number. You see, you have it right here. So you click it, then it opens for us right here. So this is the notification right here that we're going to see. So working with the notification. So join us we get started so first and foremost we'll come right here we're going to type the application name as you can see then of course we're using java so we just come click next then of course which right here of course we have the api version that you're targeting i'll go with the api level 14 then of course we can click next now we have some templates i'm going to choose the basic activity which is going to give me of course the floating action button so yeah click choose the basic activity then click next then click finish okay this is going to generate for us the project so with this one we're now just going to come in our build or cradle the app level just make sure you have the design support as well as the app compact okay they've probably been added to you by android studio so we don't really use any third party library in this example probably your compile sdk version as well as your build tools and also the target sdk versions they are going to be much higher than mine right here there's no problem with that now next we'll come over to the manifest under the manifest directory so in our manifest first we actually need to add this permission okay the android with permission dot vibrate because we're going to be vibrating the device when we are okay we are when of course the permission is when of course our notification is actually being displayed so permission for vibration right here so we're going to have that one then of course we'll come to this one later on okay we're going to have the activity two activities our main activity as well as the notif activity so we're going to have these ones right there so we'll come to this one later on okay so our metadata value a name right here so we'll come to it we'll create it later on for now let's come over under the drawables we just have a simple image so you can of course use any image that you like okay now this is the image that we're going to show in our notification so you can of course give it any image then of course you also have the menu so the main uh, menu main in this case we are not really adding anything to it we also have our value resources we're not modifying them okay we just have them yeah the way they are this way so that's it this is all we're going to these have actually been generated to us by android studio now we'll come over to our layouts android studio generated for us two layouts the activity main as well as the content main the activity main is the template layout right here as you can see okay it's our template layout at the root we have the coordinator layout we have the upper layout inside the upper we have the toolbar all right then we have the floating action button and that's the activity layout then we have the content main in the content main we're not really adding anything okay so that is it then we also have the activity notif for our notification activity of course at the root we have the constraint layout then we have a text view which is going to display our notification text 
so we we'll also come to it later on while talking about our native activity for now let's jump over to our java code and then write our code in java so of course next we come over to our main activity okay in our java as our first java file now most probably andrew studio has generated it for you so of course basically main activity class that is deriving from the app compat activity so first and foremost we're going to have some instance fields right here okay we have the message count right here which is going to hold for us our messages then the uri which is going to give us of course the alarm sound okay point to us the alarm sound that you're going to play then we also have of course the pattern our vibration pattern we hold it in a um a long array right here then we also have the notification manager so we come first and foremost we're going to vary the on create method now we are going to set our toolbar right here find view by id and retidy the toolbar the toolbar was actually defined in the activity main dot xml so the toolbar will set it of course as our action bar okay so yeah that's what we're going to do right there then we'll come of course for the alarm sound which was the uri we're going to use the ringtone manager to get the default uri so ringtone manager dot type notification that's actually the default uh sound that you're going to play or the default is going to give us the default uri that is pointing us to the notification sound that we will play okay when our notification is actually being shown then of course we'll come and get or initialize our notification manager now we just use the get system service okay or context that get system service service then we pass in the notification service and then we cast it of course to a notification manager then of course our floating action button we're going to reference it from our activity main then we're going to listen to its click events now when clicked we're going to invoke a method that you are calling show notification so show notification is a method that we're going to create okay and here it is right here so show notification is going to first and foremost we're going to just log this one out okay now this will help us of course when debugging so we come right here and then first we're going to instantiate of course our notification builder so notification compact dot builder and builder equal to new notification compact dot builder then we pass in the context which of course is this okay and now builder of course is actually an inner class that is defined in the notification compact class so and builder dot set content title programming users tv there's going to be the title for our notification then and builder dot set content text okay now the description in this case we are saying we just released a new android video at our channel then and builder dot set ticker then new message alert okay then and builder dot set small icon we pass the icon right there so having done that one next you're going to come and increment of course and build out set number we just increment the message count given that um new messages just arrived then we're going to play the sound and then we're going to set the vibration pattern so that's what we're going to do then of course we're going to have an explicit intent which is going to open for us our notif activity so notif activity is um, an activity that we're going to create in a short toil so we pass in the context which is this and then the class notif activity dot class okay while instantiating the intent then we're going to pass some data to that activity so we use the put extra method we pass in of course the notification id and then the message that we want to pass of course to that notification activity now we'll come right here and then have our task builder okay so task builder task uh task stack builder stack builder equal to new task stack builder dot create then you pass in this then stack builder dot add parent stack notif activity dot class then we come right here stack builder dot add next int we pass in the ei which was our intent object 
then we're going to have our pending intent pending intent pending intent equal to start build and get pending intent then of course in our pending intent first we pass in the request code then of course pending intent dot flag update current now having done that one we're going to set our content intent to our builder as that pending intent object okay that we just retrieved then of course to actually notify we're going to use the notify method so we use the notification manager dot notify method then we pass in the id then of course and builder dot build to build of course our notification so that's it that's it for our main activity now next we actually need to add the parent activity so come right here okay then right click then come to new and then choose activity you can just choose the empty activity so of course it's going to be our notif activity right here okay once it's been added just come and then add this metadata okay so add this metadata right here or to our notif activity basically what you are saying we are signing of course the parent of this notif activity to be the main activity right here so notif activity is going to have the main activity as the parent okay so that is it right there okay parent activity is the main activity we add it as the metadata of our notif activity so in the notif activity and we will generate for you its layout just add a simple text view that's all we need to do then of course we move over to of course the java so here we go with our notif activity okay now first and foremost we'll of course have the package the imports as well as the notif activity class defined is of course deriving from the app compact activity so first and foremost we're going to come here and then override the on create method so on create method as you can see we have we're setting our content view as the r dot layout dot activity notif okay now activity notif is a layout it will get inflated and of course used as the user interface for our this notif activity then just within this method of this callback we're going to reference the text view which is our received txt so whatever we receive from our notification we're going to show it in this particular text view right here so received txt.set text receive data receive data is a method that will return for a string now we're going to create in a short while then linkify dot add links receive txt linkify dot all so we're just going to add link right there to whatever to that particular text view so that is going to be clickable okay now once you have that one we're going to have this receive data so receive data is going to turn return for us a string that we call the message now first we initialize the message to empty then the id we initialize to zero then we're going to use the bundle of course we're going to retrieve data that was passed from the main activity via the bundle so get intent to get extras okay then we hold it in this particular bundle instance then if extras equal to null then this is what we'll do message equal to error otherwise we'll come and obtain of course the id as well as the message so we obtain the id by passing in the notification id as the key in our get get into method then as for the message we pass in the message right here as the key okay now remember in our main activity while passing data would actually specify those particular keys okay so they are not just some random keys we had explicitly specified them yeah within the main activity so we pass them now to retrieve the data then of course that data the message and the key we're going to set them to the message okay and then we come we of course obtain our notification manager and then we're going to remove the notification with this that specific id so notification manager did cancel then we cancel the notification with that particular id so that's it that's all we need to do that's of course our notif activity and that's it guys of course you just now click run to run the project okay now just make sure that you guys subscribe to our channel programming with us tv we're doing tutorials on a regular basis you don't want to miss them out so subscribe 
and also check our website devotion.com is a new website so you're going to find some pretty useful content there like the video share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class